Hey y'all, welcome back to Come Home with Jenna. I am so excited to see each and every one of you. Remember, you can always get in touch with me. You can send me a message, you can text me, you can find my little link tree and click to your heart's desire. I do wanna hear from you, especially your questions. I love it when you all ask questions. So today we're gonna talk about a big group of buyers that I work with regularly. So I grew up in the moving industry, my family, many generations moving. That's kind of, you know, that's how we paid our bills and put food on the table. So I, when I was working at this moving company, (laughs) uh, I had a lot of training. So this is one of my very first jobs. So we, as part of our training, we had to learn what the most stressful experiences are for people so that we could give good service to our customers. And moving is at the tip top of that list. People hate public speaking. They hate death, (laughs) shocking. And they hate moving because all of these things bring incredible life stress. So when you are moving out of state, you have a lot more to consider than if you are just moving because of a size issue or because you want to upgrade or you want to right size or you just need something different and you're looking in the same area where you already live as opposed to moving to a completely new state from somewhere else and you kind of don't know where to start. So today we're gonna talk about what does my buyer consult look like when I'm working with an out of state buyer. So. First things first, I am going to ask, okay, why are you moving? Are you moving for a job? Are you moving uh, to be closer to family? Are you, you know, tell me why you have decided to move to Texas. And then if it is for a job, I'm gonna set up a search for them that is within a certain distance, especially if they're going in the office. Now, if they're working from home, they have a lot more options, but let's assume right now that they have to be, you know, within an hour of their place of work. So that is going to narrow down the area. So in real estate, there is something called steering and I, I'm never going to steer. I'm not a steerer because that is very illegal. So I can't recommend a city necessarily to you just because I love it or I live there or whatever. So if you say, Hey, where do these people live? I don't know. can't tell you illegal, (laughs) not an option. But what we can do is we can talk about, okay, do you want a community feel? Do you want land? Do you want a neighborhood that maybe has a pool? Do you not want a yard at all? Are we gonna look at townhomes? Are we gonna look at condos? So we kind of wanna talk about the distance, why you're moving. So if you wanna move because family is close, then you tell me how close you wanna be to them. You tell me where they live. So if you want to live 20 minutes from family, if you want to live next door to your family, those are different areas. So if you're coming in and you've never been here before, I'm going to suggest that you come visit me right away (laughs) and we are going to look at distance. And then I'm going to tell you, okay, here are cities that you could potentially, that these would work for your location, for what you're looking for. And they offer whatever type of house you're looking for, whether that be a condo or a townhome or you know, an acre lot or whatever you want, we can find. And then I am going to give you homework and your homework is going to be, okay, drive through these cities, look at the neighborhoods. What do you like? What do you not like? What are you drawn to? What seems like it fits for you? And then you're going to go do that on your own. And then I'm going to take you to dinner. And then we're going to talk about what you saw. So I'm also probably going to give you a list of some of these amenities, what the city has to offer. You know, if we have a major sports team there, maybe you want to go to a game. Maybe you want to go see what that area looks like. What kind of proximity are you looking for to a larger amenity? Do you want to go interview the school? I mean, if you have children, that's probably very important to you. So, okay, if you love this neighborhood, go check out this school. This is the district it's in. Ask questions, see if it's a good fit for your children. And we can kind of go from there. So first things first, we have to narrow down what city you like. Once you've found your city or maybe two or three different cities, then we start looking at homes in that city. So 
then I'm just going to send you a wide net, all the listings. And you're going to be like, oh my gosh, there's so much to look through. And I'm going to say, I know, but we're going to spend all day and we're going to go look at a few homes in each of the cities that you've decided that you like and are interested in living. So we're going to check out these homes. We're going to talk about HOAs. If there's an HOA, we're going to talk about, okay, what are your property taxes here? That's a huge question, especially from my clients that are moving in from, you know, California, Illinois, New York. Uh, we have property taxes here. <laughs> They're a little bit different. Now we don't have an income tax, but we do have property taxes. And those vary based on what county you're in, what city you're in, what school district you're in. There's a lot of things that play into those property taxes. So that's something that we also wanna consider because even if you are buying your home in cash, you are going to have to pay property taxes. So what do those look like? What age are you at? Are you at an age where your property taxes will be frozen? Where that school district, you know, do all these things. There's so much that goes into this, but that's what we're gonna go through once you've picked your cities. Then we're gonna find you your dream home. And then we're going to go from there. So once we've found your home, we're going to do all of the fun things. We're going, I'm going to suggest you get an inspection. Do you have to? No. Do I want you to? A thousand percent. Yes. Why? Because you want to know what you're purchasing. So that is what you're going to do. You're going to get your inspection. We're going to negotiate repairs. We are going to do all the things you need to do up into that beautiful closing day where you are going to bring your ID. <laughs> I did have a client forget their ID uh, to closing <laughs> a couple weeks ago. Don't worry. They didn't live too far away. We got it covered, but you have to have a valid ID. And then remember, you do not book your movers for the day of closing. You want to book them the day after. Why? Because you do not get keys until you have both closed, which means buyers and sellers have both signed all of the paperwork and funded, which means your money has gone to the seller. And that is when you get keys. So we want to move the next day. We want to set all of that good stuff up for the next day. So once you have decided where you're going to live, then you can decide the specific community. Then you're going to fall in love with a neighborhood, a building, whatever you like. Then we're going to find you your dream house there. Then we're gonna get you through the bulk of the process and the negotiations, and then you're home free. There's one sticky wicket <laughs> that people forget about. And especially when you're moving out of state, it becomes a little more complicated. So if you cannot qualify for two mortgages, then we are going to have to make sure that you have sold the home that you need to sell before you close on your next home. And you have to talk to your lender about this. They'll, there's a lot of different lending options. We've touched on them in um, some episodes past and we'll continue touching on them because the industry changes quickly and there's always new products available for this. So a bridge loan might work for you. There's a lot of ways to work around this, but I, as your buyer's agent here in DFW, if you need to sell your home in the state that you are coming from, then I'm going to need to talk to your listing agent in that state because we'll need to know how, what does the market look like there? That's my biggest question for an agent in another state. A lot of times I will actually interview agents and refer my clients to them just so that we have a good working relationship and I know that I can get a hold of your listing agent. I know they're going to work hard for you. And I know that they're going to have good communication with me because if your house hasn't sold and you need to sell that before you purchase your next one, you will not close. And that contract uh, kind of falls apart and you're homeless, <laughs> especially if you've already moved. So there's a lot of moving pieces and I really want you to think through when you're moving, especially out of state. Okay, what does this market look like where I'm trying to sell? Do I need to sell before I purchase? And how are all of these things going to work together so that I can get into the home of my dreams in my next location? So lots of moving pieces, lots of communication, and these are just great questions to ask uh, when you're interviewing 
when you go to sell. So you want to always, always, always talk to more than one agent and you want to ask them, okay, what is your average days on market? What does my house need before I sell it? If I am moving, should I even be looking at homes? So if the days on market where you're selling is say 60, 90, you probably should not be looking at a new home until your first home is under contract, which I know is a hard pill to swallow because most of the time when people are moving, it's very stressful and they want to just be in that new location. But in order for that to work seamlessly, we need to sell your first house. (laughs) So we're gonna ask, how long? How long is it gonna take? What is the price? I want a competitive price. What should I expect as far as repairs? All of these things really make a huge impact on your purchase if you have to sell in order to purchase. So these are just some great things to keep in mind, especially if you are going to become a new Texan and you have to sell something somewhere else before you purchase here. So I hope this was helpful for y'all. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today on Come Home with Jenna. And as always, like, follow, share, do all those things. I don't know. There's buttons somewhere, I'm sure. (laughs) But I'll see you guys next time. And as always, too, make sure you send me your questions. Can't wait to hear from you. Bye.